and uh, the most uh, dangerous um, uh, in all uh, that situation, in my view, from the standpoint of uh, public opinion, of the public opinion, uh, was uh, that the prosecutors were elevated, uh, anti-corruption prosecutors uh, were elevated very much by the media, and uh, then uh, different uh, or oh, various uh, various cases uh, started to be uncovered. Uh, 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 about the uh, violations and the breaches of law uh, by the investigative and law enforcement authorities themselves uh, uh, started to be uncovered. It was revealed, for example, that uh, our security service uh, personnel established uh, unlawful uh, uh, cooperation um, uh, with uh, uh, different parts uh, to different trials. Like, for example, there were cases when the witnesses uh, were unlawfully uh, uh, practically recruited by the law enforcement. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Now we have uh, Ms. Manjura, uh, who represents the communications department of uh, uh, NABU, of this anti-corruption agency. Uh, but uh, I am not giving, uh, not turning the floor over to her, but uh, rather to Ms. Kolonyuk who can tell us about the persecution uh, 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 of uh, the fighters against corruption, how they are being attacked, beaten, harassed, and so on. But still, uh, uh, as you uh, already uh, mentioned, the fact that uh, public opinion uh, uh, became more favorable uh, towards uh, uh, corruption, or struggle against uh, corruption, uh, can you describe that and uh, focus even more on how uh, are there any real instances of help from those new, uh, newly converted, so to say, people with uh, uh, whose whose opinion uh, has become more positive towards uh, struggle against corruption? Well, I'd say that uh, uh, the, it's sometimes quite uh, to the contrary of what uh, uh, you've said, because in April, for example, we uh, felt uh, all of a sudden increased pressure from many sides, uh, pressure uh, that uh, was trying to suppress uh, our work. And uh, But we consider this to be positive. We consider this uh, uh, a sign of uh, effectiveness of our work. That this makes us think that uh, uh, we uh, are more effective in making the authorities react uh, more actively to uh, what we do. So we've been we were created as uh, an expression of outrage uh, in the cases when uh, uh, there were uh, evident cases of corruption where the uh, law enforcement officials only had to file them, uh, to file all the materials and go to the court and prosecute uh, uh, the culprits in the courts. Uh, and that was not happening. We made them uh, uh, react to uh, to these cases, uh, these public officials. And after the uh, uh, revolution uh, of Hidnist, uh, uh, these events uh, here in Kiev in 2014, uh, I think uh, there has been some progress made. Uh, we uh, have uh, th this anti-corruption bureau uh, was established. Uh, uh, for example, uh, there was a reference here to, their, uh, to the uh, practices of Romania. We have analyzed them, and not only Romanian practices, but uh, of the other countries. And we tried to influence uh, uh, positively the uh, uh, law, uh, uh, the legislative process, uh, the laws uh, aimed uh, at fighting against corruption. We have now the registers uh, of uh, public registers that are open uh, now to the public with the information about uh, uh, types of ownership and so on, and beneficiaries, rights. Uh, so they, these cases uh, and uh, the other uh, efforts uh, of ours, uh, they uh, uh, have uh, changed the atmosphere in the state, and uh, it, uh, uh, they have reduced uh, this, uh, uh, those, uh, the number of instances when uh, high-ranking officials involved uh, in uh, wrongdoings uh, uh, were going unpunished. So I understand that uh, in my work, uh, the results uh, 
uh, sometimes uh, uh, if, if I have uh, if if I have a business and I'm a monopolist, I gain some monopolistic position uh, on the market. Uh, there can be consequences if I uh, abuse, if I use uh, mal uh, different uh, violations of business codes and and laws and so on. So uh, electronic declarations, for example, contributed to that, uh, uh, and. Uh, so since April uh, of this year, a whole range of instruments has been uh, uh, employed against us, uh, starting uh, from uh, uh, fake news in the American uh, uh, websites. But are these real American sites, or these uh, the sites themselves are also fake uh, and are presented as uh, uh, American uh, sites? Well. Uh, Yes, but uh, still, uh, there are two criminal cases against us, uh, accusing us of uh, uh, avoid tax avoidance or even tax evasion. Uh, then uh, there uh, is another case accusing us of organizing uh, a uh, demonstration or something uh, 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 I, uh, not far, uh, well uh, in front of the uh, building of the security service of Ukraine, saying uh, Shabunin, who is a prominent uh, activist, anti-corruption activist, uh, sell uh, some some property or something, uh, claiming uh, or asking him to to do that. Well, how uh, wh what do you feel uh, in this situation uh, in terms of uh, your cooperation or not with the media or even counteraction maybe on the part of some media? Well, we are encouraged by uh, the fact that uh, we have established uh, cooperation with a lot of media, both here in Ukraine and uh, in foreign countries. But um, uh, we have uh, already uh, seen uh, it for ourselves that a lot of media uh, can have uh, can hold different positions, different views on our work. Uh, some uh, uh, of them, uh, as I uh, have already told you, uh, generate fake news. And like, for example, uh, one of the media alleged that the American investigators uh, progressed in uh, their uh, investigation of Mr. Shabunin, the prominent uh, uh, anti-corruption activist's uh, wrongdoings. And uh, uh, then, for example, uh, there was uh, the report about the uh, central, uh, well, SEPICA, the, the public organization of embezzling some public money. Well, uh, this is Miss uh, uh, Darina, uh, and uh, she, in her capacity of a professional uh, cinema uh, 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 artist, uh, has only confirmed that, uh, sh that uh, the art affirms, so to say, uh, the uh, validity and usefulness of anti-corruption uh, actions. Um, one of these days, uh, the, there was a press conference uh, um, in Kiev in which uh, Transparency International presented their new website dedicated to uh, uh, protection of uh, uh, journalists, anti-corruption journalists, investigative journalists here in Ukraine. Uh, wh why is the timing? Why is it uh, now, well, it's it's a uh, an impact of our previous work, uh, but we felt it was uh, very useful to accelerate a little bit this job uh, to uh, uh, accelerate uh, uh, this uh, uh, provision of uh, uh, safety, so to say, establishment of some safety provisions, uh, better safety provisions for the journalists uh, in their investigative work. Uh, we have uh, uh, been actively cooperating with uh, our uh, international uh, friends, uh, and uh, this cooperation contributes uh, to the fact that uh, uh, in a number of uh, uh, schemes, corruption schemes, uh, uh, some people are involved uh, uh, even against their will, the circumstances are such that they uh, have to be involved in them. And uh, we uh, are trying to protect them as well. There is a good, there was a good uh, American uh, movie uh, called The Insider. Uh, it's about tobacco company, uh, about uh, uh, them developing uh, the more and more, uh, the, the cigarettes containing more and more nicotine, uh, 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 
uh, developing the addiction of, of the smokers and uh, the about the protest uh, about uh, uh, of one of the uh, high ranking directors of that company and how the american state uh, uh, tried to protect him against uh, the uh, harassment uh, and persecution uh, that he was subjected to inside his own uh, tobacco company so uh, that was uh, our inspiration, and uh, uh, we uh, uh, devote, uh, we try to uh, uh, put uh, even more attention to uh, the opportunities for those insiders who are reluctant to continue to be a part of these uh, corruption schemes to uh, get out of them and uh, uh, still be protected. Well, corruption as a phenomenon is a very difficult uh, to uh, to uncover a phenomenon. Uh, it's, for example, uh, nowadays uh, difficult, probably impossible, to establish how much money uh, has uh, been by now uh, uh, taken out, siphoned out of Ukraine uh, in all these years, including uh, the previous president. Uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, some of his uh, friend, friends. Well, corruption used to be, in the recent uh, past even, uh, sort of a secret, official secret. But uh, uh, these, all this uh, media coverage intensified, I'd say, media coverage of struggle against corruption. Uh, it produces the impression that uh, corruption is uh, uh, somehow being uh, countered more effectively, more actively. Uh, uh, I can s give you the figures that, uh, for example, last uh, year, uh, the percentage of, of uh, the people who uh, up to 86 percent, uh, uh, for example, uh, last uh, year said uh, that uh, they considered uh, the situation with corruption uh, better. But the opinion polls uh, show that the victims of corruption and the people who had to be involved uh, to give bribes, for example, in order to get some services uh, 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 has also increased. So the real picture is different. Um, the other uh, problem is that uh, we do not have this uh, a rule of uh, demand and supply uh, in this area of struggle against corruption uh, somehow distorted. Um, and uh, uh, that's why we uh, uh, pay great attention to an opportunity uh, like today's uh, opportunity to show the results, successful results uh, of uh, this uh, fight against corruption. Like, for example, uh, uh, we, when we see, uh, uh, in uh, uh, when uh, we look at the other countries, we see also some successful examples, like the Guinea uh, uh, president was uh, sentenced in France recently for corruption. And uh, uh, if we watch uh, today's Ukraine, uh, Ukrainian media, uh, you see all the time the coverage about the struggle, uh, different actions about. Uh, uh, these uh, anti-corruption actions like uh, investigators looking through the papers and, uh, and and so on and so forth but there have been uh, no real uh, results uh, mostly so our idea is uh, to disprove uh, these uh, notions that corruption is uh, invincible it's uh, there is no use in uh, fighting against it and uh, we need to do to continue uh, uh, disproving these uh, things because otherwise the atmosphere in society is uh, very permissive uh, towards corruption and uh, therefore let me uh, call on not only the journalists but also the members of the public uh, uh, to uh, continue struggling against corruption and not only stop uh, uh, when we discover such cases but also try to uh, 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 make the investigations possible uh, and uh, the results of these investigations su successful. It is also uh, important for the media people to understand that uh, it's not uh, only uh, useful and needed to show the day-to-day -day, uh, uh, work of uh, the anti-corruption agencies, uh, however important it is, but also pay more attention to the uh, results or rather the lack uh, 
of them uh, thereof? Well, uh, in according to our analysis of uh, the media, uh, we can see uh, that uh, uh, among the problems related to corruption, there is also moral decay in the society, for example. Uh, in uh, the uh, dictionary of uh, uh, Ukrainian language, uh, the definition of corruption is uh, although this is a very old uh, dictionary of uh, Ukrainian uh, uh, language, uh, the, uh, the definition of corruption says that corruption is a typical feature of capitalist society, meaning uh, the uh, bribery amongst uh, or of uh, uh, public officials in capitalist countries. When we look at uh, 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 the uh, work of those anti-corruption bodies uh, in Ukraine, uh, both the bodies uh, and the officials of, of those uh, bodies, you uh, pay attention to uh, the fact uh, that uh, many of them uh, successfully use the media people against the other media people. If uh, we uh, uh, refer uh, to, if we look at uh, at uh, the uh, very old uh, uh, situation, well-known situation, when the president uh, uh, promised uh, to renounce his uh, some of his assets, uh, as uh, how uh, this uh, case has been forgotten, uh, basically. Uh, but uh, was uh, this um, case interesting? Uh, Ms. Anna probably can uh, uh, enlighten us about that because it's uh, her. Uh, uh, the case that she uh, has been uh, covering for some time. Uh, well, it's, uh, as you uh, rightly said, uh, uh, for any capitalist country, uh, 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 it is a typical situation when a president has uh, some people who uh, help uh, the president, uh, uh, his entourage, so to say, is, uh, you know, trying to uh, get closer to him and to use his... Uh, 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 his uh, authority to uh, facilitate their own uh, dealings. Well, we have uh, worked uh, for the first time uh, uh, on that for uh, some time. Uh, I mean, when we started our project, uh, I have uh, spent uh, about nine times, nine months uh, uh, in the company of a very prominent, very well-known uh, international uh, journalists. Uh, it was a very interesting experience for me, and uh, there has been uh, uh, a number of uh, venues where we discussed uh, 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 all the uh, aspects of uh, our uh, uh, film. For example, what were the experts, uh, how we selected the experts. And during that discussion, uh, no, the topic itself was somehow smothered. Uh, uh, it was uh, not the president's dealings were discussed, by, uh, but our work. And uh, uh, we uh, saw it for ourselves that uh, there was the readiness from the other side to try us, to get us to, to the court in case uh, any uh, 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 mistakes were found on our side. So uh, there was an attempt to misuse, so to say, uh, uh, your film uh, uh, by accusing the producers of the film uh, uh, that uh, uh, you tried to exploit a merely ethical problem, put it into the realm of uh, criminal prosecution. Yes. Uh, and. Uh, uh, we still think that our efforts were valid uh, because uh, it was a difficult period uh, of uh, uh, Ukraine for, for Ukraine, and uh, the uh, good lessons, uh, uh, the good lessons for us, very positive lessons for us, uh, were that. Uh, uh, we uh, learned the reasons why it was impossible uh, for Ukraine to have the repetition of the situation that they had uh, had in Iceland, where uh, four days after the publication of Panama Papers, uh, uh, the Prime Minister and uh, other high-ranking officials, a number of them, uh, had to resign. Um, so. 
this uh, ethics, ethical side, if we speak about it, that they have in Northern Europe, uh, in Iceland, for example, that I referred to uh, earlier, uh, uh, it's uh, very different from that, uh, from what we have here in Ukraine. Uh, uh, and then I also understood, uh, uh, which was a good addition to my previous uh, journal education, journalistic education, uh, whatever we, uh, although I had uh, been involved, uh, I was involved uh, in uh, this similar work when I was yet a student, uh, I still uh, uh, working on that uh, film. I have I understood that uh, there is uh, at least a lot of journalists, uh, uh, a number of people who have similar values, similar interests, and uh, these people uh, I now view them as uh, the people uh, who uh, with whom we can cooperate. Uh, some of the people uh, uh, do not, among uh, the, uh, those who uh, had been involved in investigative journalism, have uh, left uh, that, uh, and uh, among them were uh, quite no, some uh, well-known Ukrainian journalists, especially when uh, we raised the offshore accounts issue. But uh, still, it was very valuable and interesting experience. John. Denise, uh, please add to what uh, you have learned uh, over these years that you have uh, discovered uh, in this sector, in addition to professional skills, that is. Regret. It's not summarizing, it's regretting, right? Well, that's a play of words in Ukraine, but yes, regret is one of the biggest skill. Because working in this area with these themes gives me understanding. Oh, uh, someone said all oh, people are basically good. Huh. This is too optimistic of an idea. In my opinion, people are not good or bad um, to start with. Overall, they're playing. Uh, according to the rules that they set up uh, within society. I met many good people that did absolutely not just bad things, but systemically bad things. I've seen quite many unpleasant people that I would not put into classical term, good people, who, regardless, acted ac according um, uh, to their beliefs to contradict what they've seen in their environment. And that work taught me to understand that much corruption, if not majority of corruption in Ukraine, is generated by basic rules of uh, the state. We have multiple corruptive uh, stories that our citizens face in life. Are artificially created systemically by some fool, by some fully legal ministerial rule, foolish but fully legal, created intentionally to redistribute funds and uh, to uh, use loopholes for stealing. So I uh, uh, regret, but don't lose hope. Daria, external communications of Nabu. How brave are you to communicate with journalists? I mean, uh, uh, um, personally, but also uh, institutionally. Are you waiting for them to come and ask you, or are you seeking them to share? 
your successes, but not just successes, uh, difficulties as well inside Nabu and uh, in particular cases. It will be hard for me to speak about the whole Nabu. You mean people are different there? They're different everywhere. Different people, different ideas, and our law enforcement has, like my colleagues say, particular morality. So, for a PR specialist, for communication specialist, we need to work with this morality to make this agency more open, uh, more able to hear the other side. So Anti-Corruption Bureau as a law enforcement entity often leans to close certain information. Not just because uh, it's scary or shameful information, but at specificity of investigators, they want to make secret out of anything, everything. Why should they report about their work? This is a culture that's been already formed. Of course, so this is a new agency, uh, but people are raised within the same society. So values different, but similar. What does um, give me hope? is the fact that we explain and they understand that they need to talk to uh, investigative journalists, hear them out, share with them. I am not ashamed, that's the thing. And uh, when I am, I will stop working because I do understand my social role. I understand that there are certain expectations, there are certain intentions. We do need to do things for people. So, at this time, I'll tell you, we're not losing optimism. We are not scared to talk to journalism. That when you uh, hear or uh, read or watch this um, um, investigative material, disclosing material, do you um, have a conflict between um, a listener's information, watcher's information, uh, and uh, Nabu information? That's a great piece, but they uh, went too early with it, for example. Of course, there is a lot of critique. And I work in this organization. I know these people. I'm emotional about uh, these investigations. And sometimes we cannot even, we're not allowed to explain to people why things are. Journalists uh, sometimes accuse us of um, uh, putting some case under the rug, and I know we didn't. I know we keep investigating, but I cannot, I cannot tell that to this journalist. Sometimes I want to tell them, wait a couple more days and you'll see the truth, but they would not believe sometimes. It's hard to separate emotions from professional attitudes, professional feelings from personal feelings. So, I try to read analytics, um, watch general news, and that's a step forward compared to government officials uh, who say, I try not to watch news at all. Well, that would be unprofessional. Evgenia, shall I ask uh, my question in Russian? No, you're right. 2004. For um, expansion of um, European Union, ten countries join at once, and there's an opinion that Bulgaria and Romania were sent in um, uh, with a lot of hopes. Many things that they were supposed to do are uh, not done, but let let us welcome them to see if they catch up. And Romania is one of examples of progress. 
I just wanted to tell you that when you get a professional in their own area, um, maybe unblemished, it's very dangerous to raise them to a pedestal because edge between uh, freedom of policy and execution of policy is very uh, thin. It's one thing to say, um, uh, God uh, uses my hands, and the other thing, I am God's hands. Critique is very important. So my question is, Ukraine is in a similar situation today. For a long time, we idealized the discussion of um, um, association agreement now, visa-free regime now, all that is in place. These advances from European Union, how much they promote and how much they corrupt? Very interesting question, actually. You know, European Union is something that seems ideal for us. We clap, we watch, we uh, receive their statements as a uh, holy writ, but it's not exactly true. When a nation is weak, they are not able to discuss things with the European Union on the same level. You need to listen to what they tell you to do. 99% they tell you to do good things. But there is 1%. Not so much. And this idea would not uh, often come from European Union as a whole, but from some people that lobby business within European Union. And that is not good business sometimes. So, that's just one of the examples. Austrian company who buys wood from us. Same problem for Ukraine. Okay. And I gave an example here, Panama Papers. And many journalists from different countries uh, work there. How possible it is uh, to cooperate between Ukrainian and um, uh, Romanian journalists in that matter. It is possible to work together. So just don't take everything as a holy scripture. Remember your national interest, don't forget it. I'm not saying they're doing something illegal, but their business is not interest. They have a monopoly and we have small enterprises. Oh, who went bankrupt? People who lived off that forest have no other way to earn money. So, they lost those opportunities. So on one hand, we have many jobs, but on the other hand, how much did we lose? I think we lost overall with this Austrian business. Thank you. Maybe you will agree, I don't know. What about you? Speyhofer. Story was about uh, well, Romanian forest and Ukrainian forest, uh, and that's uh, they're buying it with contraband schemes. Ukraine lost some money did come in, but uh, majority of schemes are dark. And it's important for us to work together. 
um, between Romanian and Ukrainian journalists. Oh, two colleagues worked on the project from the United States, from Romania. We have also CRP there. Um, their office is in Bucharest, and uh, several times we went to um, um, lay out the movie. Um, um, they talked about Moldova, Platon, uh, Romo uh, Romania. Um, actually, we have many joint topics. That's not uh, is, uh, with Romania and with Moldova. Sometimes people are surprised, but we have good partnership team, Rice Office, um, and um, contraband of forest is one of topics. Uh, Mitro wants to say something. Um, about surprises. Poland. We have a lot of cooperation with them in politics, in foreign affairs, but it's a surprise for a Ukrainian investigative journalist um, that they can work with Romania because in Poland um, Investigative journalism is uh, in decline. All media um, is uh, politicized. Uh, they are divided into two camps, right and left centrists. Polish investigative journalism started dying with commercialization of media, getting down budgets, decrease of journalism investigation. There is no one to work with, practically. While in Romania, there are people to work with. I would also like to add, once with Hoffer, I went to take example from Ukraine. One, because for us, well, people are used to have this corruption on forest. Example, well, this habit is our enemy. We are used to bad things. So I went to Ukraine to film um, the way civil society organizations are fighting um, um, this trouble. You're taking example from us, but we have things to learn uh, from you. We all need to learn from each other. That's good. And I think this festival, movies, uh, or cinema against corruption, we need to learn from each other. Our time is running out, unfortunately. So before I ask my last question to all participants, I want to ask you, what would you like to say to summarize? Okay, the person who is uh, in regret cannot summarize because they left. Uh, but you can uh, summarize, Dario, please. I'd like to say just one statement. Very happy that we were able to hear our colleague from Romania. That's really something that um, sobers us up. We cannot make pedestrians, cannot uh, appraise uh, people too much. We uh, talked about uh, National Bureau of uh, Investigations or um, um, Anti-Corruption Bureau. Um, raising people to pedestal is, uh, even good people, is um, bad. We need to understand how the world is built. And so I sincerely would like to thank Ukrainian journalists, investigative journalists, um, uh, my colleagues, thank you for your work. Do not lose us from your scope of view. We would like uh, to make sure that this institution will continue to work effectively with um, civil organization control um, um, and then with ju investigative journalist control that that would be great for society to grow okay your summary please I'd like to go back to the role of media uh, to um, form general rejection of corruption in society to keep forming it 
have a lot of information about struggle with corruption, but now we have uh, examples of fake combating corruption. These uh, pseudo investigators are show are are used to show that um, police doesn't work or um, national um, agencies combat corruption does not work. Um, so I'd like to speak to mass media. Because uh, there is a small percentage of Ukrainians who really analyze uh, uh, materials of Metro or um, the scheme or others. Because uh, general impression, we have a lot of corruption, but no one goes deep to understand. We need to make and we need to realize we have small steps forward. It's important to balance out information, not just in negative understanding, but also. in um, understanding that we should not overpraise people because it um, causes a lot of disappointment and um, unfulfilled expectations. It's good for us to have this festival in Ukraine. Anti-corruption activity, combating corruption. I'd like to watch all these performances stories from our real lives. That's good. Uh, we need to watch those stories. We try to work with big uh, fora. Uh, we, we look for uh, films to inspire us, what our colleagues produce. Uh, we need to use real uh, investigations, not imagined reality. We try to find new ways um, to get inspired to show um, our discoveries in a new way. Yes, um, but we also need to uh, go into uh, movies, not just documentaries, because uh, I, uh, this is something that people need to um, keep learning about. So I will be inspired by this festival. I'll be going to uh, different um, um, shows of this festival. Thank you very much for inviting me. It would be my uh, um, joy and interesting t uh, interest to see these uh, movies, these uh, films, because movies present uh, things in a new um, image. Because in documentaries you watch facts, but in movie, you look at psychology. It's very, it's going to be very interesting. That's how we'll understand what is behind these actions. The last question is very personal, and you can uh, refuse to disclose this private information, but when did you go to see a movie last? You. Okay. Metro? Months ago with my son. Good, Anna? Three, four weeks ago. Woody Allen. Yes, Law. Um, rabbit school with my children. Uh, four years ago. Okay. So. Between 14th and 19th of September, go to Kiev Skarus Cinema. Then you have to travel to Zhitomir, 21st, 27th of September, movie theater Ukraine. Our corruption, our mentality about movies. I made a decision to go to movies and not to watch the films on computer. That's also corruption, you know? Yes. In that second meaning, yep. Thank you very much. Evgenia, Kiranaki, Mitro Nap, 
Dariem man žūrēt, bet no rohnā, pāna, babinētas, thank you.